Welcome back to the community, everyone, and thanks for being part of it. And I want to thank everybody, especially for the donations that's been coming in, purchase of t-shirts and stickers. I truly, truly appreciate that. I really do. It helps support the channel a lot. Check the website out. There's lots to see and do there. Today, we're going to go ahead and disassemble this engine, which is a pretty nice engine. So it's not going to take real long, but let's take a look at it and see what it looks like inside. I promised I would. Next week, we're going to start on frame head restoration. I think that'll be an interesting video because I'm going to work my way from the front to the back. And we're going to finally do the rust bullet. I've been promising and haven't done it yet. But let's go ahead and get started pulling this engine apart today and see what it looks like. Then we're going to send both blocks out to get line board done and blah, blah, blah. So let's get on it. Okay. So... This motor supposedly was good. What happened is I believe there's new bearings in this. We're going to find out. New crank bearings, new main bearings. Uh, I believe we're going to have two good engine blocks. This one could even be the better one. I don't know. They were over tightening the studs that were too long. See the cam gear? Cam gears broke. So if that's all the issue is we may be able to roll along a little quicker when it comes to engine time, okay? So let's start taking this apart and see what it looks like inside because I really believe, and I emptied the oil, we might be onto something good here. And then I can send it off to probably Jim's in Ohio possibly or my buddy Kelso out west. Start. Crap, I'll put deep on it. Let's break these loose. I should have brought my Milwaukee gun again, and we could have sped this up pretty good, but it's okay. It's all right, as long as you guys don't mind. I'm just breaking some of them loose first. And then we can spin them off quick. I'm very eager to see what this is like inside. I had these loose because I robbed it of a uh, oil pump. There was a brand new oil pump, brand new pistons. It was uh, of my video on the Super Beetle build for the engine. So I picked it up cheap from a friend and used the parts from it, knowing that I would end up using this block. So not a bad deal. I did good. Let me loosen this. This is a AK case. I forget what year that's from now. Here's the chart. So, and of course it's dual relief. And we did a video on dual relief. I think that uh, hopefully this is a good block. I believe it probably is because he was going to use it. So obviously it was for a reason. I got to get a deep well on that, but I'll grab a wrench real quick. These are handy. Whoops. It's already loose enough. Oh well. I didn't get to show off with my new wrench. I think, too, I've come to a conclusion. I do have a, soul, a set of 40 IDFs. 40 IDFs we got to run. I got to get some intake manifolds for them. And also get, uh, you know, the normal stuff, the intakes and the hex bar. I think I'm going to go through CB Performance or somebody. And I'm going to go ahead and get the electric fuel pump and a regulator with a gauge to clean up the engine compartment. I'll try to, try to find a picture to throw up here where no fuel pump, dual carbs, the coil hidden. It really cleans the engine compartment up really nice. So that's the plan of what I'm going to do. And I think it will look very nice. 
I don't like a lot of clutter. To tell you the truth, I really don't. And I think it will be neat. Okay. Getting there. Be patient. That's why I'm just gabbing to you. Like I said, next week we're going to do a frame head restoration with Rust Bullet. I think it'll be a fun video. Following week, I'm going to get it high in the air. We're going to go ahead and keep getting the body work done. I'm going to go ahead and clean the floor pans up real nice, wire wheel them, rust bullet. And then we're going to get on that back rear quarter panel inside. Oh, let me see one here. Don't miss any of them. So that would be bad. Okay. <coughs> Let's take our little bolt out that's holding it. There's an iron tag, got everything there. I already drained the oil, so this is a 10 millimeter. No big deal, these are not very tight. And when you do reinstall them with your copper washers and that, make sure you never ever tighten those. Or you will have an issue real fast. There's your dual relief. And we'll be going over them like I did in the last video on them. And cleaning everything up. And we're not going to use this screw, the slotted type, putting them back in. I use Allen head. And makes it much easier if you got to take them in and out. Although I'll get these out. I have my way of doing it. Nothing tricky, just, you know. Okay. Like this. Obviously, I'm going to change the gasket. There we go. Come on. There we go. Put it in the other slot. And it's going to jerk me around. Of course. I just like using the plastic tool because it will break before something on the engine would break. I hope that made sense. Nice and clean. We got a lot to do in a 68, but money allotting, it's the motor's going to be a little expensive. I'll try to have it on the road this summer. 17 millimeter. I didn't bother pulling it. Studs. Just didn't feel the need to on this one. I'm just crisscrossing because I'm weird like that. Okay, let me double check. Okay, got them all there. All there, always go over them. Make sure you got them all. Because if you're prying it apart and you missed one, you're not going to be happy. Got them all there, there. Yep, okay. I don't believe this is gonna just come apart. So, Compliments of compliments of Corey Anderson. What a cool name, huh? Remember the Matrix? Mr. Anderson. Probably don't remember that, huh? We're gonna put our case splitter on there that we borrowed. And a 16 millimeter wrench. Oh, Wow, my knees didn't sound good, did they? Okay. Let's start splitting the case. Uh, 
This is actually the location where your oil pump goes. Okay, should start coming apart now. Let me give it a little tap here. Okay, a little persuasion. You move slow though when you're doing this. Even though it may be boring to watch on film, you don't want to move fast. Okay, let me get my dead blow hammer. Double check again. And one more check. Yep. We got them all. Let me take a... Now don't get crazy here because you don't want to chip the block. I'm just prying very gently. Okay. Here, the nut and washers. Okay, just checking. I ain't worried about all them little washers. I can pick them up. And I actually have a ton of them. Okay. We're getting there. I gotta hit the back. The back's not. Back's not coming loose. There we go. Just the pins were a little snug. Don't worry about the little nuts and bolts. You can get them. Okay, now remember, don't start pulling real hard. Don't want to do that. Very gently, it'll come apart. It'll come apart. Okay. Get underneath here, like that. Okay, let's see if it'll pull up and off. Let me check the camera. Alrighty. There it comes. Alright. Yeah, the bearings are bad. Okay. The lifters came out and everything. We'll take a look in a second. Okay. Lifters everywhere. One made it to the floor, which is fine. I'm not using these parts over, so not a big deal. And there's the broken cam. Let me bring you in closer. Let me get a rag. There's a new seal. See what happened here? Look at that. This stud apparently was tightened in too far. It's what they told me happened anyhow. And it broke the cam gear. So... I'm going to have to check everything and make sure that the block isn't all screwed up. But a new cam I already have on hand. Wow, I ain't never seen it like that happen before. Okay, well, it's all right. I'm more worried about the block than anything. So, shims. A little bit of corrosion here, but nothing to write home about. Let me see if you're close enough here. Let's take a look and see. It's moving smooth. Okay. Let me set this down here. Oh. Yeah, I am sure, well, it's getting windy out. 
we'll have the block fixed up with no problem. I'm going to have to have them double check. I don't believe anything's wrong with that there where the cam was pushed, but hopefully it didn't damage anything in the block. I don't believe it did. Let me pop a cam bearing up. Something looks, oh, okay, never mind. Um, don't mind me. I'm just examining it. There's no corrosion or anything inside the block, so it's a nice looking block. I'm going to have to mic it and see what the deal is. Get it hot tanked, line board. Let's take a look at the other half. Okay, and my rag. I keep losing my rag. There we go. And I know Kelso's watching, going, give me that block. I'll make it right. Okay. Actually, it does look like a really nice block. I'm going to try to clean it up a little more. Maybe I'll try another super clean and see how clean I can get it. Uh, it looks pretty good, though. And I know he did plan on using it, so... I just want that checked where the cam was being so pushed, but I really don't believe it did anything bad. Looking at it, oh, shut up with your dog. I see right here, here, let me bring you in close. Right here, you can see some scarring, okay? And that apparently is where it pushed. But let's take the bearing out because I believe it probably just chewed the bearing up. I don't believe it hurt the engine. Highly doubt it. Little bit of scarring here, but nothing, nothing bad at all, literally. So I think we got a winner here. I can just see a little bit there, but then again, I think it almost cleaned that spot up. Because, no, I just wiped it off. Okay, so that might be okay. I'll find out, but I believe we got a really nice block here and it should be fine. Okay, let me take this off of here. Okay, folks, so this engine block looks to be very nice. Now, I know I still got to have it sent out, line board checked, see what size bearings we have to go to 20, 40, 60, or I think no more than 40. I can't remember. Uh, but this block actually does look very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and ship both of them out is what we'll do and hopefully have a lot of luck and then we'll see what size we want to go to. Probably going to a 74 by 94 possibly or a 74 by 90.5. I'm really not sure yet. I don't even know what cam I'm using yet because we still got to get to the body work in the car, the interior, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so that was this week's adventure. <clears throat> Excuse me. The block's done. We will go ahead and clean it up. This one will clean up a lot easier. And we'll go ahead and start on the frame head restoration. Uh, that'll be fun. We'll wire wheel, clean it up, put the applicator on for the rust bullet, and you'll be there with me the whole time. One thing I wanted to bring up before I go, check out Canelton Auto Repair. If you're in Indiana, Vince reminds me of me 20 years ago. He just works nonstop because he wants his customers' cars back to them right away. No, this is not a paid infomercial. He did not even ask me to do this. I'm going to have to give him a call and let him know to watch the video. He does watch my videos. Thanks, Uncle Bon, also, for keeping my stuff up on your YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Okay, we'll be back next week, and we're going to go ahead... I won't put this on film, but I'm going to start putting wood on the walls of the garage too. I've got a lot of pallet wood and I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I'll do a short film and speed it up real fast just for giggles and fun. And we're going to get the garage to look like an old country cottage style garage. We're going to start dressing the place up. So I'll see you next week. Everybody stay warm.